Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Nika and welcome back to another episode of Keeping Up with Nika. Guys, today we're gonna talk about my two year update with my veneers. But before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. Guys, it has been two years since I got my teeth done in Colombia. I got 100% porcelain veneers that last, I think he said 15 to 20 years. They did saw down my teeth and I paid around $6,000 at that time i went to dr gonzaga in colombia now i hear that he has another location in the dr a lot of my friends are running over now to get their teeth done so i am very happy with my results and i highly recommend him today i'm going to talk about the truth about my teeth have they cracked have they fell out any issue that i'm having sensitivity any problems so let's get into it so guys i'm going to start off by saying um a couple years ago i got a crown in the back on um, one of my back molar teeth I got a crown and one of my veneers did fall off you know um, after I think nine months of having my veneers in I was eating something one day and when I bit into it and I was chewing the food I felt one of my veneers in the food and I spit it out and I was like oh wow one of my veneers fell off so I went to my dentist in America at the time and I let them know hey how much you know you're gonna charge to glue this back on <laughs> or whatever the case may be they were letting me know that listen since you have a crown a crown is like glass and then the porcelain is like glass so when you put glass and glass together it's not going to stay long it's not going to stick um, and stay long so when she told me that I had in my mindset that okay with that crown every nine months I might have to come and get my um, veneer glued back on because it's not going to last very long so that was the only issue I had with my veneer so far it had nothing to do with the doctor he had he did nothing wrong it was just me having a crown already and putting a veneer on top of that crown putting that glass with glass is not gonna last glass glass with glass is not gonna last I think I could become a rapper <laughs> but yes guys um, other than that i've been perfectly fine I'll, i have ate hard candies chicken bone i don't i don't put these teeth to work and i have not had any problems no cracked veneer no veneer falling off due to food or hard candy or eating ice or anything like that i love the results i do recommend this doctor dr gonzaga to anyone they did saw down my teeth i do have a video guys that i found in my phone that i wanted to share with you guys when they saw down my teeth i will insert it now hey guys i'm done with my first appointment i can hardly talk but i'm outside waiting for my driver they shaved my teeth down i can't even smile it hurts oh my god yes guys um the worst part was the needles I got joked about eight times at the top and maybe like six times at the bottom. Yeah, my, I'm feeling dizzy. I think they put too much anesthesia on me. I need food. I'm just waiting, guys. Um, I just felt like I kept my mouth open too long. My mouth was open way too long. Um, and I just feel like I got locked jaw. Like my jaws are killing me. My mouth was open for about three hours. And, um, I just want to close my mouth right now, so I'm gonna keep my mouth closed and let this anesthesia wear off. Um, but I'll get back with you guys when I get back to the hotel. All right, later. And that's it, guys. I looked it really funny. My mouth was totally numb. I had little rat teeth, and it was just so funny to me. And I'm trying to eat with the rat teeth. It wasn't any pain, but just seeing my teeth so small in my mouth remind me of some things. <laughs> So yes, guys, I got my veneers. I love them. I do get my teeth clean once a year in America. I do not fly to Colombia to get my teeth clean. I get it done here. Um, I have no sensitivity issues. Drink cold water or hot teas. No sensitivity issues. Um, I love them. They, you know, I feel like your smile is everything. You know, when somebody approaches you and you, your teeth, you know what I mean? That, that's it. When you smile, it, it's, it's right there. Like that's what they see first. You know, first impression is the best impression. You know what I mean? So I do love my veneers. Um, you know, I don't know what's going to happen in 15 or 20 years. If they fall out, if my other teeth underneath get weak or anything like that, I will be getting them done again. Or if all my teeth fall up, I'll be getting dentures. It is what it is, you know? We have one life to live and I am very nonchalant, guys. I'm sorry. But um, we do have one life to live and just live your life, man. Have fun. Do what you got to do. And the thing I like about porcelain veneers, it's not like gold teeth. When you put that gold metal on your real teeth, how it gets decayed and rotten underneath. So with porcelain, it's breathable. The back of my teeth 
back here is open it's not fully closed and sealed where my tooth is not getting any air it's not breathing so that's another thing i like about veneers it's only the front cap it's going on the top of your tooth it's not covering your whole tooth so your tooth doesn't breathe or gets decay or rotten underneath so that's a great aspect of veneers but yeah guys thank you for coming back to my channel don't forget to like subscribe and share again come on most of you guys are watching my videos and you guys are not subscribing like what's up what's up I'm just joking but i love you guys don't forget to share this video and if you're gonna get veneers hit up the gonzaga i'm gonna put his i'm gonna put his instagram in this video so you, or you guys can go follow him because he's an amazing he's patient he's kind his facility is great everything went well so i'll see you guys in the next video peace out